as we move into the fall and the days get shorter and the nights get longer, it stimulates many plants to bloom for us. And these late season bloomers are so welcome in the landscape. We're all familiar with chrysanthemums and sasanquas, but here is the fire spike plant. Fire spike's Latin name is Odontonema strictum. And this is a really marvelous plant for Louisiana landscapes. It likes to grow in shady areas. You can see this growing here underneath this large uh, magnolia tree and it's just flourishing. They'll take some sun during the day, but try not to put them in a really sunny situation. They do appreciate some shade. A nice moist area where you water occasionally during dry periods, keep the beds well mulched and high in organic matter, and this plant will really perform well for you. Around about October, we begin to see these wonderful spikes of fiery red flowers. These are highly attractive to hummingbirds, and if you're a hummingbird gardener, you definitely want to have some fire spike in your garden. Now, this is a tropical plant, and it is prone to cold damage during the winter. In North Louisiana, it's usually root hardy. Keep the roots well covered with about six inches of pine straw, and the plant should come back up in the spring, even though it may freeze back. In South Louisiana, some years they freeze back, some years they don't, but they can always be cut back if they start getting to be too large. This plant can get to be as tall as about five feet, so locate it to the back of your beds where it will be blooming beautifully through the late season. So think about adding some fire spike to your landscape. You may find it for sale now in the nurseries since it's in bloom, and it's a wonderful plant for late season color. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.